Hello, Wildlanders. Wanderer here. Welcome back to Skyrim. So I have been doing a bit of vendoring. I went back, got some potions. I've been selling off my potions gradually to whoever I can, although I still have not gone anywhere near um, getting rid of all of them. But yeah, I'm getting rid of them slowly but surely and uh, bought like every book that I could from every vendor that I could. I also went ahead and spent the points on restoration to pick up these resto spell, these uh, adept and expert restoration level things, and I'll tell you the reason why. Because, well, number one, I have to do this to be able to actually cast the spells reasonably without having to swap out of my armor. I can cast my uh, restoration spell, the restoration like stamina regen thing. I can cast that. Um, just barely with my Magicka that I have right now without investing any more into Magicka if I have this uh, perk. And also, it improves it by 4% per skill level. Now, I'm not sure how much regen this thing gives, how much uh, health regen it gives per second, but, but the big thing is this gives 4% per skill level improvement. Now, if I have 75 skill level, that's going to result in uh, 4 times 75% improvement, Let's assume I get this to 100. It's going to be 400% better. Four times more regen. So four times the health regen per second. And also, that's going to mean four times the stamina regen per second. Um, I'm pretty sure I have it going right now. And as you can see, I can run and I simply do not lose stamina. I just, it, it is too much regen. I cannot run out of stamina. Pretty great. I got to admit, pretty great. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go into the, the frozen hearth here. This is where that lady told me that that uh, elven mage who is studying the stars was at, who is uh, gonna be our key to unlocking that Daedric quest. Nolikar. My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. You're with the college? No, gods no, not for years. I left Winterhold for some time and return to stay here at the inn. Why would you live here at the inn? I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. But you don't want to stay at the college. Well, I guess uh, each their own. I'm looking for an elven mage who studies the stars. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. Hmm... A priestess of Azura sent me. Azura? Gods, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. What do you know about soul gems? Well, I use them for enchanting. Um, that's right, correct? They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. Azura's star, a daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. What did he do? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alter's deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star. But don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. How did the Daedra drive Malin insane? Azura is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student, and in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. Sounds like Malin got what was coming to him. The college would agree with you, but do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. So how does the star work? I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. 
You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Well, I already told you. Okay, um... Thanks. Until next time. So where does that leave us? Go to Il Nada's Deep and find the star. I've already been over here once, apparently. Okay. Well, that is... Over by Whiterun, actually. Kind of. Okay, so we take a... Take a carriage back to Whiterun, and then we go towards this over here. Yeah, I remember seeing this, and I couldn't go very far into it. Okay, so that's what that place was for. I can also stop over and kill the leader of this vampire over in Broken Fang Cave. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it now without too much trouble. Okay, we've got our marching orders. I'm going to hop on a carriage, and uh, we'll be on our way. This should prove interesting. Having a refillable soul gem will be nice. What am I doing? Sorry, Frost. Need a carriage. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go back to White Run. Or did you want to stop somewhere along the and way? we could go to Rorikstead, which is a bit closer, I think. Why don't we do that? Climb and back, and we'll be off. I believe it's a bit closer than Whiterun itself. This will clear up soon. I'm sure of it. Be a miserable carriage ride in the blizzard with not very much of a wall on the thing. No fire to keep you warm. Okay. Is there a stable here? Wouldn't mind buying another horse or two. Mostly just to have them. You kids play nice now. Didn't the guy on the cart that runs away and gets shot by the arrow in the vanilla intro, didn't he steal a horse from Rorikstead? Pretty sure he did. Yes? Mm -hmm. Maybe up here? This is a smithy. No, I need, um... I need the stable owner to want to buy some horses. Is it over here? It's a rather large building. It looks like an inn more than a stable place, yeah? Uh, I don't even know what this says. Yeah, it's an inn. Frostfruit Inn. So where do I go to buy stuff from the stable hand guy here? Common concoction? What does this say? Oh, sore hours. Yeah, sure. Come in and sell some stuff. Why not? Yes. Uh, I want to buy some or sell some stuff. Potions and ingredients. Most of the ingredients in stock, I either grow or gather myself. Just buy them all, probably all the ingredients. Why not? No reason not to with the potions I have. Okay. And sell some things. Th 
their loot. Take care. I'm just not sure where the hell the stable master guy is. Could be this house, I'm not really sure. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Take care. No, this place has been expanded and I'm not sure who's who. Whatever. I don't care that much. I... I'm kind of going upon the assumption, so like, next playthrough, the rule I'm probably going to use for carry weight is that every horse that I buy will add 600 carry weight to my character, and that's, that's the rule I'm going to follow to make it a bit more reasonable on carry weight, uh, because every horse has 600 carry weight and I can just have an army of horses following me. Now, I can't like actually keep them behind me at all times because the game is like not great in terms of that stuff. You know, this is probably further away than I realized. Whatever, you know what? We can defeat the Guardian Mud Crab on the way over here. Me move my marker here. Is this the right way? Just follow this road. Yeah, subsequent playthroughs, I'd like to do that rule. That way, at least I technically have the carry weight. It would just be a bit more of a pain to micromanage where my stuff is on, on my horses and stuff. We know who you are. These guys. Come with us right now. Again. I, I just want to kill them, honestly. I, that would probably like ruin a quest line, wouldn't it? I just don't want to deal with them, though. They sound like pricks, and I just want to kill them. I brought my uh, glass great sword that has soul sealing on it, specifically for dealing with like wolves and stuff, just to make it easier. I I need to make a dragon item and then enchant it with like soul stealing plus something else, maybe like annihilation or something. Might be a decent enchant. Oh boy, is this the uh, giant? So I saw the corpse of this thing earlier. Yeah, it's the corpses thing previously. Ugh, it's almost dead. We got him. Yeah, I saw this thing earlier. And I was walking through here. Didn't know what the heck it was. And this is... Right, Broken Fang Cave. Okay, this the vampires have been vexing us for so long that we haven't been able to kill because they're like level 100. It's ridiculous. I'm level 50 now. I'm much more powerful. We can buff up and I'm pretty sure we can just go in here and probably two-shot these guys, no problem. Prepare to be There's wrecked, vampires. For bandits, or Before worse. I do that, though... Okay, before I do this, I really want to go and get a bath and do some... I guess get some buffs going, which means getting a bath, getting some food, doing all that kind of stuff. So surely it's got to be a... Um, what is this? It's got to be a place I can take a bath around here somewhere, right? It's like a conjuring thing, huh? Interesting. Didn't mean to get on the horse there, but whatever, it's fine. Good enough. What the heck is going on over here? Got my glass gray sword on, right? Yeah, okay. No, don't put... Don't, no, I didn't want to do that! I, I don't know why you thought I'd, I'd get off my horse there. That's weird. No. Okay, good. Pull out the thing.
Okay, lots of souls, cool. And we got a Nurn Root here. No. Oh. Rest in peace, bandit. Ebony dagger. Very nice. Well, there's barely any water here, but I'm sure it'll still work. For taking a bath, so... Whatever, it's fine. So pretty. Not me, the, the scenery. I'm an ugly orc man, but I'm strong with Berserker Rage, that's all that matters. Okay, that's taken care of. Now let's do, um, hold on. Let's do some food and such. Worm and chips. I don't have, no, I, yeah, I don't have my bear meat and stuff on there. Hold on. Bear carrot stew, beef stew. And my healing is still going, so we should be good there. My restoration spell healing is still going. Okay, now where are we going again? Just south. Go straight south, got it. Right over here. Alright guys, we're gonna kick some vampire ass now. We're finally gonna do the stupid quest that I failed on so miserably so long ago. Let's put on our nice great sword. We're gonna buff inside of here. Take all of our potions and such and destroy people in here. Oh, first we gotta deal with some uh, easy, easy people in here. I think. I've got a bad feeling about this. Someone there? Did you hear something? Okay, those are the easy ones. This has respawned apparently since the last time I was here. Makes sense, it was quite a long time ago. Alright, and um... Vampire dust... Nothing I need here. I know I heard something. Oh, this could be the high level, guys. Alright, it's time, guys, it's time. Okay, we're gonna do Fortify Armor, 100, uh, let's see, do I have anything better? I think I do. Fortify Armor, Health Regen, a, a better one? Ooh, this is nice, yeah, 99, 99 Strength, or 99 Health and 49 Stam for 300 seconds, cool. Health Regen, um, not that. This is 95 stamina per second for 20 seconds and also gives us Fortify Sneak. I'm not sure why it gives you Fortify Sneak too. It was just like a side effect of the potion, but hey, whatever. 100% stamina regen, 40% two hand. Um, we'll do a resist of each type. So I don't think we need, ref well, we'll do, we'll do fire anyway. I don't need that much of fire. We'll just use a random one there. Full frost resist, very high magic resist. Sure, we'll do this too. Poison resist. Uh, we have better poison resist. Yeah, 81%. Poison resist. 61% shock. Big health restore potion. What else? Um, some spider venom for... Um, no, I don't put, put on my other great sword. My great sword of annihilation. Put that on. And then... Spider Venom for Paralyze. Alright, boys. And then, finally, Berserker Rage. Let's get the true, make sure that's on. Alright. And then we shall use some kind of shout. Maybe this for making them stumble. Done. 
Did I still get wrecked? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm just... I think he's dead. I'm pretty sure we hit each other at the same time. We're good. Just got knocked down. Okay. Got him. Got him. If I hit anybody, I'm sorry. No, no deaths, right? We're all good? Everybody's still alive? No more? Stay alert. I have. Uh, this is just a wait. To admit, I admire your courage. Okay, yeah, we're good. Any more back here? I think we're good. I mean, we, we, we got the quest completion. Pretty sure we're good. Master Conjuration. Holy crap, 20% and 300%. That's crazy. Some nice stuff back here. Okay, so we got... Dear Keith, this is fine. Just a freaking heart. And a green apple sitting here, too. Jazz Bay grapes. My other guys are, like, stuck back there, I'm pretty sure. Ebony war axe, very nice. Ebony is hard to come by, so I'll take that stuff for sure. It's in here. Not enough move I need. Ebony, arrows, very nice. Novice, uh, I mean, whatever. Already have that, don't care. Glass sort of evoking. It's worth quite a bit, we'll take that. Orcish, we can enchant that. Torpor, I already have Torpor, don't really care. Don't really care, I'll take the money for sure. These are always, ooh, 20% less to cast. That's better than I can make. Yeah, it's better than I can make, cool. Dance with one-handers. Um, I'm not sure if I have one this good. Soul Trap. Already have that. Staff of Calm. Worth a lot. Don't care about the rest. Okay. Random bant that they were having a bit of a munch on, I'd say. Mm, it's a nice fight. It's, I mean, it was worth a lot being what it was. I can refine that as well. Uh, these are all crappy potions. Lockpicking. I think I've already read that one, though. So, okay. Things went well. Um, everyone is still alive, yes? What is that stench? Wood, Where perhaps. is, um... That can't be good. Oh, she's just... You're just chilling over here? What are you doing here? Whatever. Thanks for nothing, Uthkurt. Moral support, I guess. All right, what do you got? Uh, this is all crap. Don't need it. Marcel had the good stuff on him. Or not, I guess. This is all crap. Someone had a, a full ebony set, I thought. Yeah, this guy had a full ebony set. Yeah, this is nice. Extreme illusion, extreme alchemy. Cool. I'd be looking for peerless, though. Stuff is all good, though. Ebony stuff is all good. I can disenchant this stuff. Yeah, that'd be worth doing. Okay, I suppose we're done then. Finally, with that quest. After all this time. It was still, I mean, level 100 guys are pretty tough. And I'm in pretty much min-max gear now with a pretty min-max character. It was still pretty tough. But we did fine. Like, I didn't... It was okay. We did good. You did a good job, Wandy. Pat on the back. Uthgard, I'm not sure what the hell you're doing. You weren't helping, though. Okay, well, there's another quest we can scratch off, finally. So let's go down to here now. 
I'm not sure how we get there exactly, if we can go over the mountains or not. I guess we'll try. Maybe we go down to here and then go across. Yeah, why don't we go just follow the road straight down south over here. Put on my glass. Great sword again. Oh, I... Yeah, no, we're good. For a second I thought I had on the wrong amulet, but no, we're good. That, um... That healing thing I have, the healing aura, also makes me, like, damn near immune to certain effects like, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, draining. It's very, very good. Oops, pardon me. What's going on here? Some Imperials out on the road? And whatever. You do you, fellas. I'm on my way to go and get a Black Star. Yeah, I was here earlier. I went to this place previously and I didn't know what it was. I just kind of went through it a bit. I don't remember what I found in here. Maybe it was Falmer or something. It was difficult, though, and I didn't really do much here. More Imperials on the road. Yeah, we're entering into the Domain of Fulcreth now. That is what that symbol was. So we just keep going along here. Probably... Okay, um, this right? Yeah, this way, and then we take the, uh, coast to our left, kind of, once we're through the mountains here. Follow the coast of the river, or the, the lake to the left. Thalmor? It's a bunch of Thalmor. They're all gonna die if they are. Thalmor, Justicier... Hi. This doesn't concern you, citizen. Who are you? I am a Thalmor Justiciar on important business that you are interfering with. Who are the Thalmor? We are special envoys of the Aldmeri Dominion, the rightful rulers of Tamriel. If you'd like, I can show you why. If you're smart, you'll walk away. Why don't you show me why? That sounds like a better, more fun time to me. I, I think, you know, I really need to be shown why. I'd love to see why you all are so special compared to everybody else. Dear Keithus, could you please get the hell out of my way so I can shout these people? There we go. Good job. Whoa! That man just bashed my ass into, like, next year. Can I get up now? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> we're, we're still okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I can't see anything, though. Can I please attack? Okay, good. All witnesses are dead. Where are my companions at? Where was my help at? Only Dear Keithus was here. Dear Keithus, congratulations. You get a healing spell because you're actually being useful, unlike the rest of my companions. Uh, he protect powerful healing on target. Yes, here we go. How fast does this actually heal him? I look at his health going up. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, for being a 3,600 long spell, it's pretty good. I don't really need your stuff anymore. I just wanted to kill you because you're jerk face elves. Yeah, I don't really need your stuff. I just I just wanted to kill you. I'm past the point of needing elven stuff. I have all these enchants, don't really care. I just want you dead. That's pretty much it. I'll take the dagger, I guess. Alrighty. Well done, folks. Oh, you guys are just hiding over here, huh? Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. It's, you know, thanks a bunch. You go ahead and... Well, I'll cast my other thing later once I have uh, Magic of Regent. Thanks a bunch, guys. Appreciate the help. Yeah. Don't trouble yourselves. Glass Greatsword again so we can get more souls. Uh, Glass Greatsword. I'm getting decent at using that thing. I'm going to miss it. I actually I already do miss it so much. I miss 
Sky UI so much when I'm playing Fallout 4 now. Like, it is just... It's so much better than anything that we have in Fallout 4. Okay, so here's the mill. I remember this mill. We can go up here. We actually want to be on the other side of this thing. No, don't, not that. The map is what I wanted. Um, we, we've gone the wrong way, haven't we? I need to go back up to that marker and then go over. Whoops. Whoopsies. You may live, dear. I'm feeling generous today. I don't really need petty souls anyway. I do have a lot of petty soul gems, though, so... I feel almost obligated to do it. Excuse me, dear Keithus. You respawned on my head. Oh boy, a bunch of these guys, huh? Didn't kill you. There we go. I'm warning you. Back off. E Nern Root. Are we close now? Yeah, pretty close. Almost there. It is quite literally this giant tower, sunken tower thing over here. Yeah, I was here before. It was here before. You know, all you butterfly, dragonfly things. This is the place. Hello, friend. Been a while. I was here before. Previously, there was a place I could get, I could knock it into, though. If I recall correctly. I have a feeling there's going to be trouble. Oh no, you don't. Foolish mages. I have maximum resists. You're not even remotely a match for me. I don't even think I want these. Unless they're, uh... Like, instant heals or something. Like, all this stuff is probably... Yeah, I don't think we, we, need, we care about any of this stuff. Do we even look at their inventory anymore? I don't know that we do, to be honest. I think we just say screw it. I think we're just good. We're, we're just beyond these. We're so far beyond these guys, we just don't care anymore. You guys could come up here and not be stuck back there. It'd be great. I will, however, take... Alchemy ingredients. Now, don't get up. Don't get up. Just stay there. Uh. 
See ya. Don't want any of this. No. Kill. Ooh, an old grimoire. Those were actually kind of valuable. I will take soul gems. Kill. It's my line. No, oh, not here. Ooh, a superlative. Instant full magicka regen. Okay, so look for the really big ones. The really big potions. Those are worth picking up. The smaller potions, not so much. Where, where is this guy at? Uh-uh. That's mean. How are you not dead? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, bandit. What does this do? Lowers that. There we go. Uh, pass, I think. Yeah, pass and all that stuff. Soul gems. I will take... <laughs> Nothing here. Pass, pass, pass. Not sure where my companions get off to. Whatever, it's fine. Holy crap, last stuff. Extreme Magicka. Sure, it's worth a bit. Uh, no. Peerless Alteration, very nice, that's kind of cool. Extreme Wielding, yeah, it's not bad. Maybe whenever I'm leveling up my one-handers, I'll have like a one-handed set purely to get extra perk points. Need perk points. Take the Soul Gems, don't need any of this stuff. Ooh, Frightening Spear, I don't know this one. Or this one. I bought like everything I could. At the, uh, the merchant. There are still apparently some things I don't have. Dang it. Come on. Please. There we go. Fortify Resto. No, no, no. Pass, pass, pass. If I come around... Oh, other side. Okay. Is it... Wait. Have I done everything I'm supposed to do here? Aren't I looking for something here? Like a specific thing? Did I find the thing? I gotta, yeah, I gotta go here and find the star. I haven't found it yet, so that means like there's gotta be some way I haven't gone yet. Hold on, there's two ways to go here. Did I go this? I went this way first. What's what's this way? Well, this is the way back out. This is how we came in, right? Yeah, this is where we came in at. Okay, so here's where we came in. And I think I went this way. This goes back over. Oh, is it, is it in here? Oh, here we go. It's There's an area deeper in. I see. I see. I'm just dumb. I don't think I could go back here before. More souls are needed for the star. 
Oh yeah? To be honest. Be careful. <laughs> you just tell me to be careful because I knock something over. Oh, you dum dums. You're all dead. Hey, that's a nice staff. I can give it to Ilya. She could maybe use that. Azura and the box. Could read that, sure. Crappy dagger. More soul gem stuff for studying that I will never ever make use of, probably. Conjuration. Nice. Conjuration skill. I have oh whatever. Just keep just keep it. Galerian the Mystic. I haven't read this yet, so I'll pick it up. And I've read the firmament. Nothing there. Alright. They were talking directly about Azura's star though, which is interesting. So not sure where my guys are at. They're back there somewhere. Being derps. No. Nah. <laughs> he keeps, keeps telling me to be careful. So I'm knocking stuff around. As they're dying, they're telling me to be careful. That's great. Uh, that's funny. I don't actually need to open these up, which is nice. Couldn't stop moving. Holy crap. Black soul gem, grand soul gem, some septums. Take your glass dagger too. I can enchant that and sell it. Do I really need to though? God, Wanderer, you don't need it anymore. You have infinite gold through potions. So you really do. It's kind of silly at this point. Like you're never going to want for anything ever again. Okay, so we can go down over here. Getting healed up pretty nicely. That's how fast my stamina regens now with that healing over time thing. I should probably go ahead and renew that as well. Should do that. Healing or powerful healing aura on self. Oh, it's not on here, is it? Okay. Powerful healing aura on self. There we go. Just re up that real quick. And then we'll put our glass... You know what? We can probably put on the, um... The good sword now. This thing does quite a bit more damage. Probably would have one-shot this guy. Okay, anywhere else we can go? We can go up. We can go up, we can go down. We can try up first, I guess. Oh. R.I.P. Bandits. Ah, here it is, apparently. So it's like a summoning circle if I ever saw one. It can also go down, though. So that's interesting. Broken Azura's Star. Bring it to Aranea or bring the star to Nelikar. The Black Star, an achievement of magic over Daedra. This is not very long, I can read it. Though some scoffed, some scorned at the very notion of experimenting on a Daedric artifact, I have succeeded where the ignorant and superstitious would not even dare to try. The Black Star, my achievement over the Daedric Lord Azura, a re-envisioning, a remastering of the ultimate soul gem. It shall become the vessel of my immortality. Final proof that my that mortals can live as indefinitely as the denizens of oblivion. The visions, the voices that Azura has sent to taunt me. While some call me mad, I knew the truth. Nothing can be held sacred in the pursuit of advancing the very nature of magic itself. Let the Daedra send their foul mages into my mind. They have given me the 
Burning desire and unrelenting discipline to shut out all influence, all immortality, or all morality. <clears throat> My di disciples and I have built a new site free of the prying eyes of those primitive minds in Winterhold. Fort Ilanada, we had been conducting a few minor experiments before our exile, some of which had to be disrupt had to disrupt led to the disruption of the island, but a few enchantments have kept the ruins intact, and beneath the waters of Lake Ilanada has been the perfect place for the final phase of the Black Star. I mean, I'd like to have an infinitely recharging Black Soul gem that can do both Black Souls and Grand Souls. That'd be great. That would be super. I'm kind of on board with this guy. Not the whole him storing his his soul in the thing, like, you know, for eternity. I don't care about that so much. Well, it's 30% sneaking, huh? It's pretty good. I want to level sneaking eventually. Yeah, maybe I'll take this. Eminent Illusion. This is pretty good, too. I don't have an illusion thing. I already have... Well, I don't have one of those. Alteration. Shock resist, eh? 50% shock resist. Give this to a companion, probably. And what else we got here? Okay, nothing else I really need. That's fine. So I can take it back to either one, and depending on who I give it to, I wonder if there's a downside to making it into a black soul gem, other than, like, your morality being a bit bad, a bit darker for doing so. This might be one that I research before I make a decision on, honestly, to see what the outcomes are. Okay, is there, there's nothing down here then, I guess. I excited, I thought I found a semi-secret area, but I guess not. Okay, that's it then. Uh, was that everything here? It was kind of a straight shot. I'm not sure if I missed anything important along the way. Doesn't look like it, though. Well, no, there's a, there's a place over here. What is back here? Just some loot? No, I think we're good. Oh, uh... No, this is not a good one. Almost a good one. Okay. No big deal. Use my wood to get around faster. Okay, we can go out on the top. I guess what happens though when we get to the top, is this going to be like we're on the top of a tower and we can't get down? Because that wouldn't be very helpful. I guess we'll see. Oh, is this not helpful? Kind of not. I mean, I could probably jump off. I do have Featherfall, right? Pretty sure I have Featherfall. That's pretty. Um, let's try that. Can I do Feather Falling on myself? Feather Fall. Yeah, Feather Falling. 207, I can actually cast this. Cool. Nice. That did not work. I might have been casting Arcane Ward instead. I'm not sure. But that did not work how it was supposed to, and now we're really, really cold. Ah, well, these things happen. Alright. That's done. I can either take this to... Well, first off, we'll, we'll go back to Whiterun, I guess. And then we can go... Go, like, up through the mountains, then go back to Whiterun. And then we can go uh, turn in the companion quest. And then from there, we can decide what we want to do in terms of the Azura Star quest. I'm sure some of you will give me suggestions. Uh, by the time I read them, though, I'll probably already have made the decision, so sorry. 
that's the case, this is probably not a good idea to try to go through these mountains. I think I'll just go around the normal way. Plus, very, very cold and all that. Yeah, I think we will try to go back the way we came. Anyway, going to end this one here, guys. Um, I'll know what I want to do with this, with this quest probably in the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.